Hey, this is Simon Cran from Vended, and you're watching Slasher Pepper. Enjoy that shit, motherfuckers. Hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today I have another interview. This time I'll be interviewing Simon Crayan from the new band Vended. How are you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing great. Glad to have you on the show. So my first question was, when did you start playing the drums and what or who inspired you to play the drums? Um, so I started playing when I was one years old. Uh, it's a true story. I have video proof. I'm, in, I'm, I'm a baby in my diaper with big ass drumsticks and just playing on my drums and just I just fell in love with it as a kid. And the way I would go to bed was my dad playing the drums while me sitting on his lap. Like that's how I would go to bed. And <laughs> I would play the drums on the bus and do all this crazy stuff. And I think no one really inspired me at first. I was kind of like a lone wolf in a way at first. I didn't like, uh, I didn't like to look up to people right away. I wanted to figure out who I was and then now that I'm at the age that I am, I look up to uh, Mario Jublanter from Gojira. Oh, right. He's That's one, one of my biggest idols right now. But, of course, my dad was one of my idols. But, you know, I had to find myself first before I could look at anybody else. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's a good it way to look at it. It was more of a challenge. Right, right. That's a yeah. good way to look at it. And um, so when can we expect uh, studio recordings and possibly an album from Vended? Uh, I knew it. I knew that was the question. Um, <laughs> Inevitable, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very soon. It is very soon. I promise you that. Um, we we're in a little bit of a rut right now because of COVID and stuff like that. It it pushed us back really hard, and it's it it's just hard, you know, to be in a band and play during COVID and stuff. So. We uh, we do have a connection with the studio right now. Uh, we have the the amount of songs that we're gonna record, and we will soon release it whenever we want to. Whenever pigs fly, you know, whenever all this stuff happens. So it'll be soon. Soon. Sounds That's all I got. Soon. Sounds very promising, man. It is. I promise. Just you know, patience is the key. Patience. Oh, <laughs> patience is also very hard to maintain. Yep. Yes, that is very true. <laughs> um, and what is it like working together with Griffin, Cole, Connor, and Jeremiah? It, it's it's a really it's it's amazing. We all work together. Uh, no one is singled out. Uh, we all do the same thing. We all have a say in the writing process. We all have a say in all the stuff and the name and the shows and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, you know, Cole, Cole's the one who reached out, not reached out, but Griffin reached out to me, but Cole had the idea, you know what I mean? Like, Cole was like, isn't there, you know, Simon, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, let's join the band. So I joined and then, you know, obviously it was just Cole, Griffin and I, so Cole and I started writing the songs and then me and him became really good musical partners and he's my person to write with most of the time if no one's really there or if they couldn't make it me and him write but usually everybody else writes with us but you know jeremiah's got the good bass skills and connor's got the good guitar skills and so is cole and then griffin of course has the good singing skills we're all equal no one's better than each other you know what i mean we oh, don't like cool. to single everybody out so we it's like really just sure like a team we, yeah pretty much we like to keep the ego down. right <laughs> that's what ruins most bands nowadays yeah, pretty much i'm not naming names but there are a couple that are just shot in my mind that just totally is ruined by it yeah i, I have some in my mind as well let's keep the names <laughs> yep. out <laughs> yeah of course uh what are some of your own favorite metal musicians oh musicians or bands uh well bands or musicians well This isn't really a metal band, but uh, it's a middle class rut. Uh, they're an alternative rock band, and people are kind of surprised to hear that. It's my favorite band. They're like, what? That's your favorite band, and you're in a metal band, and what, what's, what's going on? And I'm like, well, they're just 
I love their writing. I love their songs. They have a lot of good hits. They have a sound that's unique than just alternative rock. Like you hear an alternative rock band and you just think the same thing, but these guys are just different. There's only two guys. They've been friends since they were 12 years old. So they're my favorite guys. They're not as big and they deserve to be way bigger, but they have my support. Those are my, that's my favorite band. Gojira, of course. Those guys are amazing. I love those guys. Uh, big fan of Deftones. Very big fan. Um, I'll listen to them about like three times a day. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know. That's really it. Or Knocked Loose. Knocked Loose, for sure. I've never heard of them. No, you've never heard of Knocked Loose? No. All right. All right. Well, okay. First song I want you to listen to is Counting Worms by Knocked Loose. When All right. Time, when you have time, listen to that song and then DM me and be like, okay, I get it. <laughs> I get it. And then you'll understand. I will do. Will do. Um, and are you a fan of horror movies as well? Because usually metal and horror is kind of mixed together. It's really funny that you asked that because uh, uh, my girlfriend and I have been watching a lot of horror movies lately. Um, I don't know if you know, but we got a new puppy. So we we're kind of we're kind of stuck in my house uh, taking care of this little shit. But, uh, <laughs> so we've been watching a lot of horror movies. And recently we watched, you know, like The Conjuring and all those movies. Oh, yeah, of course. And we watched all the entire timeline front to back in like a couple of days. And so, yeah, I love horror movies. They're, I like being scared to see if any, any of them will scare me, though, you know. Right. <laughs> not likely. It's not likely. But she got me watching this one called The Blair Witch Project. And it got me a little nervous at first in the beginning. <laughs> the way they're like walking around and I'm like, all right, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> getting, getting lost isn't fun. I don't like getting lost. So. Oh yeah. I think yeah, they promoted the movie as if that actually happened. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I believe in that stuff. I don't know if you do, but I am a very supernatural person. Sometimes I believe in haunted stuff, ghost stuff, demon stuff. You oh, know that's what I mean? cool. Did you ever experience anything like that yourself? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Would you like to talk it's, about it? <laughs> it's a it's a it's a long story, but n another time, another time. All we'll right. Talk about that another time. I've I experienced, I experienced a couple of things, but you know, it they're just they're just it's just weird. It's weird. You don't know what to you don't know what to do. So, right. It's so yeah. It, it's like you you can't really. <laughs> put it into words like what is going on sometimes with some like certain things Pretty, yeah that's that's exactly it that's exactly it it's weird science sure can explain it so yep yeah <laughs> that's, that's very true um and what do you think hell looks like hell uh not the way everybody thinks it looks like i think hell is like your worst fear that happens 24 7 i don't believe in you know christianity or anything like that i'm not a religious person but i am spiritual and i you know anything could happen but i do believe in like afterlife stuff kind of because because of ghosts and stuff but i think hell is like imagine your worst fear and putting that over and over again and you can't leave that's what i think it is i think that's what hell is something that you're just stuck doing for the rest of your life or rest of your time being in there right so you don't you don't, you don't see satan you don't see any devils you don't see any of the that that shit you just right you're stuck in your personal hell right so it's more of like a reflection of your other own people fears. Are like, oh, yeah pretty much awesome i think that would just be the worst like yeah. what, people, what people say about hell is like they're like they're like they're like oh satan blah 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 and i'm like that's not scary imagine being stuck doing your fear the entire time and then you overcome your fear but you're bored and you can't do anything because you're stuck doing the same thing right over and over that'd be messed up <laughs> that that scares the shit out of me 
exactly. So, See, now you got, yeah, thank you. You're like, oh, I, I don't want to be there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So where do you think you and the band will be in 10 years or where do you hope you and the band will be in 10 years? I'm hoping we will be the best band in the world, selling out albums, uh, selling out stages, headlining, um, just at the top, ready to gain the, co gain the torch from the previous band that's been at the top. You know, Metallica is still the biggest band in the world and they have the torch and they're the, still not the second. And those are the two. And we're going to be bigger than both those bands in our way. You can't be bigger than Metallica. You can't be bigger than still not. You got to be bigger in your own way. So I'm going to try. We're going to try to be bigger than, than life itself. So awesome. That's something that's what I'm hoping will be. We don't want to be set back. We don't want to fuck around. We don't want to be a party band. We want to, you know, we want to do it. We want to go and just continue because that's what we want to do for the rest of our lives is play and just play music. Wow. Sounds awesome, man. Very motivating. So what motivates you to, to be better than you are today and yesterday? I look at a lot of old videos of me playing. Like I'll take videos of me a lot playing drums and, I'll criticize myself and I'll watch me and I'll be like, that's disgusting. I hate that. I'm changing that. I'm changing this. I hate that. So I, we, we like to take videos of, our, of ourselves playing and we like to see what we can work on as a band and see what we can. We all a live show and give me a live show. Amazing. Cause you know, there's a lot of bands that are really good at doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Romstein, Romstein's got the best live show in the world. Like they have the craziest shit ever, and it's still not going to get a good live show because of their masks, their coveralls, and the fire and everything. They have, see, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to give the fans a good live show, even though we're playing in front of a hundred people and a right. small stage. We want to give them a really cool live show. So, yeah, that's how we kind of work on ourselves. Awesome. So, um, is there anything you would like to add to the interview? Mm. No, not really. Just stay vended. That's it. Awesome. And thank you so much for your time, man. Motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It was, it was great. I enjoyed talking. Enjoyed uh, expressing anything and answering any questions people have. So thank you for letting me be here. You're more than welcome. You have waited this long. Hell no longer awaits.